What's going on everyone? This is another MLB The Show update video. I did one before, but I haven't really done them consistently. I want to do them consistently, so I am going to start trying to do them consistently right now. But here's the roster update. Let's get into it. Luis D. Palmero, he went up 10. He's the highest. Guillermo Herida, I hope I'm saying his name right. He went up 10. He is a 60 to a 70. And then we have Jeff Hoffman, if this game would kind of move down. Don't know why it's not moving. I'm hitting the down button, but it's not working. And it's not even giving me the circle thing. All right, now it moves. So Jeff Hoffman went up 8. He is now a bronze. Miguel Diaz went up by 7, but he's still a common. So, I mean, if you guys care about that, he's still a common. Chase Anderson went up 5. He's a silver. He's had a decent season for the Milwaukee Brewers. Ariel Miranda is now a bronze, so he will no longer be a common. I've seen a lot of people use him in Battle Royale as a common. Uh, so you're going to have to risk giving up a bronze for that one. Jet Lowry went up by 5. He is now a higher-end bronze. Tommy Kinnell, I believe it's his name. He went up 5. He is a silver. Jordan Montgomery went up 5. He is now a 76 overall. He's been doing a decent job for the Yankees. They remind him a lot of Andy Pettit. So let's see if he can have an Andy Pettit-type career. And we already went through Chase Anderson and Ariel Miranda. So I don't know why this game doesn't want to move down and why it's giving me repeat names. But here we go, Sean Mena it went up from a 76 to an 81, I hope I'm saying his name right as well. Austin Hedges went up by 5, he is now a bronze. We already did this one, don't know why this is showing up, and I believe we already did Jed. So Domingo Santana went up by 5, we have Randall Delgado who went up by 4, he is now a mid-level bronze actually, I was going to say a higher level bronze, but not. But Ryan Zimmerman finally gets the gold card, not Matt Kemp, but Ryan Zimmerman. Ron Haley went up by 4. He is a 78. Justin Smoke had a great week this week. He went up 4. Dan Straley went up 4. He is now a silver. Mike Moustakis is now 1 overall point away from gold. He is an 84. And Scooter Jeanette, who's had the biggest week this weekend, or this week, with 4 home runs and 10 RBIs, he gets an upgrade to a silver. Great week for Scooter Jeanette with the 4 home runs and 10 RBIs. What a performance that day. All right, we already did Smoke. Corey Knable will be next if we can get this to go faster. All right, perfect. He's now an 82. He's a silver. He's a nice little bullpen piece. He's had a great, great season so far with Milwaukee. Now you have JT Riomuto. He went up three. He is close to being a gold. We have Justin Bohr, who's had a great May as well. He went up three. He is an 84. He's one away from gold. And Matt Whistler went up. He is still a common. He went up by three, though. He is a 69 overall. Zach Cozart, another one who had a great May. He... Got an upgrade from an 80 to an 83. Danny Zalazar, who got the bump down to bronze, got the bump up to silver in this week's update. He is now an 82 overall. And Anthony Rendon, another one who went gold this week. He is now an 87 overall, making that Nationals collection much, much more harder to get. And now we have Zach Granke, who went up. He is a diamond. He is now up to. He's had a great season so far with the Diamondbacks. Not like he did last season, but... Still, he's not the, sack, uh, the same Zach Greinke as of old, but he's been good. And Zach Wheeler went up by two, but, but you know, well, we'll see what Greinke can do if he can get better. But Chris Davinsky went up two, but what hurts is that his stamina went down to a 40 because I use him as a long relief man, so that sucks. But Jake Lamb went up two. George Springer went up two. He's an 86. Dallas Keuchel, I kept telling you guys, pick up Keuchel. You picked him up. He's a diamond now, so he is 90 overall. Carlos Correa is up next if we can get down. He's an 89. He's going to go diamond at some point this season, too. He's just having an awesome season. The power numbers aren't they aren't there this season like they were last year. He'll probably get 20 to 25 home runs, but we'll see if he can hit 30 like people have projected his career to be. Will Harris went up, too. We have Mitch Hanniger who went up, too. Steven Sousa Jr. who went up, too. Corey Dickerson went up one, as you guys can see here. Brad Peacock went up one. Josh Harrison went up one. Carlos Martinez went up one. And Wilson Contreras went up one. So those are all the players that went up this week. Nothing big, nothing exciting, I think, other than the Zimmerman, Correa, and Keiko going diamond. And so is Granky going diamond. So those were, those were the big ones. But nothing really too big like it was a couple of weeks ago. Last week was just awful. But this week made up for it for people who wanted to see certain players go become a diamond and sorry guys my throat is still a little messed up from the code but let's get on to the next players all right so these are the people who got downgraded mike wright calvin herrera went down from a gold he is a silver he went down too tyler rogers also went down too he went from a 59 to a 57 garrett cole went down from a gold he is now a silver he's had a rough season so far carlos gonzalez went down too he has also had a rough season john lester is no longer a diamond he went down three jake arrieta which most people predicted went down as you guys can see three he is no longer a diamond Alex Wimser went down three. 
Brooke Ponders went down three. Adam Morgan went down three. Michael Franco went down three. He is now an 80. Oh, I mean a 71. He is now a bronze. And Kyle Hendricks went down. He is a silver, no longer a gold. So now we have Jonathan VR who went down. He was a silver. He's now a bronze. He went down three. Hunjin Ryu went down three. He was a 78 overall. Now a 75. Ronis Elias went down three. Ching Wing Hu went down four. Alcides Escobar is no longer silver. He went to a bronze. He's went down four. Same thing with Alex Gordon. He is now a bronze. He went down four. Albert Pujols, who I'm surprised since he got 600 home runs recently. I thought they would leave him alone, but he's not. He's a bronze player now. And Matt Carpenter went down. He is a silver. Archie Bradley went down 71. V-Mart, who was a silver in 83, is now a 78. Kyle Barraclaw went down. He was a silver. He is now a bronze. Ryan Brutcher went down five. He is no longer silver. He is a bronze. Matt Harvey, we obviously know, has had a bad season so far with the Mets. He went down eight, which, I mean, I don't know. He's uh, he's in this point of his career where he needs to try to fix things. And same thing with Tony Watson. He went down. But we have a new program, guys, and this is the Hanley Ramirez program. So these are the things that you have to do. You have to get 336 total plate appearances, 62 runs, 105 hits, 25 doubles, 2 triples, 20 home runs, 57 RBIs, 10 stolen bases, and 27 walks with a veteran impact player and it has to be in ranked games or against the computer but they have to be veteran impact players they can't be regular players and then the other thing you have to do is four hits three runs one double one home run and one ribby then you have to get 212 or 210 my bad fielding assist with a shortstop of any shortstop and then you can get that done then you have to exchange the live series hanley and the florida marlins team epic hanley to continue on with this collection or this program then you have to collect power or contact hitters who have a rating of 90 or above which i believe i have a good chunk i have 29 but still need to get 30 more so that kind of sucks you know that those guys are gonna go crazy in the market for for that so i would recommend you guys saving up on some of your power hitters if you guys want that hanley ramirez card yeah this is this is gonna be rough that's going to be really, really rough. And then you got to exchange Dodgers, which I believe I have enough to exchange the Dodgers. It's not that much. It's pretty much 1,500. So I could do that. But that is the new program. Let's get into the Player Epics Carlos Correa mission. So you have to beat them in all-star difficulty. Then I'm assuming you have to collect all six of them and then exchange them at the end. But let's get into the ticket counter here. My bad. All right. So we have Lance McCullers, Diamond, and May pack. Remember how they had the Mitch Hanukkah card? Well, now you have the... Lance McCullough's card that you can use. He has decent stats. I like his uh, I like his stats. And then here are the relievers for the event because people were complaining. You have All-Star Janet Pataban, Jason Greeley, and Naftali Feliz. Let's check out Naftali Feliz's uh, stats. Decent, 74 control, 83 velocity, and 81 break. I don't really care about anything else when it comes to Naftali. Same thing with Greeley. Let's look at his stuff. Decent as well. 74 control. I mean, yeah, 74 control, 72 velocity, which is okay, and 88 break, which is great. And then Pataban, I don't really care to look at those stats. Because I don't think anybody really wants that path bond card. Maybe somebody will want it, but I'm not really going to go too much into it. Let's go into the McCullough's card. I want to focus on this card for a little bit. This is the interesting one. This one, I, I'm i hesitant, man. I'm thinking about picking it up to kind of help with my rotation. Because I do, I, I kind of have a weak rotation, kind of. And he can help with that if this game will work and actually do its job here and load it up. Oh, great. So I guess we're going to be staying here for like 20 years. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Look how long this game is taking. See, I'm not editing this out because I want you guys to see how long it takes just to check a stat for the cards. To check the stats of the cards. It's just... This game is just... It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So we're... Alright, finally. Alright, so he has 88 stamina and pretty much 84 hit per 9, 81k per 9, 67 base, uh, balls per 9, and then home run for 976, clutch 87, control 65, and then the other stuff was in the 70s, which was, which was decent. And then these are the bases loaded packs, which obviously get you a guaranteed player of the month card to continue on with the um, with the Carlos Correa player epic mission. My bad, guys. But anyways, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, share this video with all of your friends, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll be back with another one.